what can finance do uh, in, in regards to some of the talent challenges out there? What's the role that finance might play? Yeah, I'll just relate an interesting anecdote, Jack. So uh, when this year started, so our fiscal year moves from June to uh, the end of May. So we're almost done, actually, with what we would call uh, our fiscal year 22. And at the beginning of last year, in the summer of last year, I was asked to speak to a group of uh, HR specialists, and, and they said, Efren, tell us what the top three or four issues are going to be this year. And this was before... Uh, we saw the real wave of resignation. And I said, look, managing, retaining, and recruiting talent is going to be number one at the top of the list. They looked at me and said, yeah, I can see that it's important. Not sure necessarily it would be number one. And, and as the year has gone on, it absolutely has proven to be the most important issue. Now, with respect to our clients, I'd say this, and then I want to talk a little bit about, about patients. With respect to our clients, we give them a suite of uh, services and reports that helps them manage uh, their retention. So we have turnover reports, we give them insights from our database on what's happening with respect to uh, uh, their their, uh, uh, employees and also other employees, uh, the clients, employees of other clients within our base. So we're giving them a lot of data with which to manage. That's one thing. We're also providing information on on uh, wages within our base. We publish a, a monthly index that gives a sense of where what's happening with employment and also importantly what's happening with wages. So you start to get a sense of what uh, what's happening in the market. We have a partnership uh, in w- with small businesses, but also small and medium sized businesses with Indeed, which is the largest uh, 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 client board in in the uh, in the world where clients can uh, post their jobs and, uh, and uh, uh, get resumes of, uh, of qualified candidates. So we're doing a number of things to help our clients. On the paycheck side, managing, recruiting, and retaining has proven to be a, an important task this year. And I would say this, what, not surprisingly, I think if you talk to most CFOs, they'd say something similar, which is, Having a process and having a uh, a way to provide flexibility for employees has become paramount. Without without providing that to client to uh, employees, you have trouble even getting to the point where you can recruit them. So we have had to be very agile in terms of how we have structured work. We're much more remote than we used to be. We're more hybrid, I would say, than uh, than we were certainly um, a year and a half, two years ago, pre-pandemic. And we've had to pivot because that is where the workforce is uh, is right now. Will it stay that way? No one knows. But for now, that's become really, really important. And that's the way we have managed to uh, address uh, some of the challenges that we've had. I would say the other thing is what we've seen a trend is more of a trend towards uh, people who are interested in part-time work. So uh, that uh, for our for our work worksite employees didn't see that as much, but it's becoming more uh, more important. There are people who simply left the workforce and don't want to come back full-time, but are willing to consider doing it on a part-time basis. And so we've adjusted uh, our approach to be able to accommodate that. Other finance leaders, we've asked how they are measuring their workforce uh, stability. They'll tell us they keep a close eye on employee churn. They're looking at net new hires. Is there any other number, your metric you might add to that? I'd say those are those are important. And I think the third, of course, is um, engagement. So we're we're launching a survey internally. Uh, to make sure that the changes that we have implemented, uh, in, including wage actions that uh, that uh, that we have taken, uh, are hitting the mark and uh, and creating the right level of engagement. We're in, after all, uh, we're both a technology business and also with a, a an important service component. If our employees do not feel like they're well taken care of, it's difficult for them to take care of our, our uh, clients. And that's an important way in which we add value in the company. Uh, just to touch on engagement with you, uh, learning, and de- uh, learning and development versus wages. Uh, where, where Can you rank these for us when you think of, uh, uh, you know, remedying uh, engagement? What would your remedy be? 
Well, I, I think I think you have to provide a, a competitive wage. If at the end of the day you offer enrichment, that that's helpful. But um, there's there's a threshold you have to meet. But just had a conversation before before we we started this discussion uh, with another colleague, and the reality is that employees are looking for a place where their talents and contributions are valued and where they can grow. You have to provide both of those, and you have to provide a competitive wage. And I think it's the combination of all three that are the balance. Clearly, um, wages are important, but I think they're a threshold consideration. The other two are very important. Am I working with a manager who cares about me and wants me to develop, and do I have opportunities to develop and grow within the company? If you cannot answer those questions increasingly for uh People entering the uh, the workforce, you're simply not going to keep them. You're not going to get them candidly in the first place. And you mentioned the managers. Uh, that relationship seems to be uh, the key to unlocking re- retention. Am I overstating that? It seems, uh, and I'm sure you're 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 managing the company in such a way where the, those managers are aware that they're uh, being watched closely. We need your help to 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 make the workforce function and grow the way it should. No, absolutely crucial. I, I would say that most people don't leave organizations, they leave managers. And um, I think in this environment, it's not enough to just simply be a neutral when an employee walks in the door. You have to work on ways to make sure that they feel that they're making a contribution and that that contribution is is being valued. And the work of managers has never been more valuable than it is today because it makes no sense to recruit someone into a company only to find that uh, they can't work with the manager and then you eventually uh, have churn. The work is harder. I, I won't say that uh, that it's necessarily easy uh, to do, but I think it's never been more crucial than it is now.